anyway, it was so much added on stuff. Now. So this was worth it for her to lose it all. Uh, the stud. Because she was going to have sex with that man. He is the one who denied it. Mm. I probably would have did it too, y'all. Not in the same house, though. And we definitely not going to be in no bloodbath situation. But I'm feeling the, uh, too much going on. Bam. I, I, I would put the recording in, but every night I would just pray and pray that things get better. I just said I was not going to listen to that recording. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not listening because there's evasion to somebody's privacy. If I'm trying to work on my relationship, whatever happened, I don't need to know. And and in my mind, I was still thinking that maybe, maybe it's a blessing that everything I did came out. I just need to be able to sh prove to her that it didn't go any farther. So let's do a let's do a lie detective test. Let's do whatever you want to do. I can prove to you that I never had sex with nobody. I may have talked to people. I may have did stuff around my friends. I may I'm not perfect, but I never slept with nobody. Like I stand, I was very 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 intentional. And I pride myself on not doing that for sure, because I never wanted nobody to ever be able to come back and say that they had sex with me. Okay. So bam, one day I came home and she was gone. I was like, Oh no, no, no. Okay. Wait, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Bam. One day I was at home. I was fixing my grandson's, um, see my grandson had a project for Mardi Gras. Mind you, we're early February now. And her and I was supposed to put this project together to do it together because it was such a big project. We had to do like his float, all that kind of stuff. One, one, one in the chat. So I'm calling her like, hey, are you, have you left the office yet? Because we got to get this project done, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just in there. So she's, she told me that, oh, I got a lot on my mind and I just need some time. I just need you to know I'm dealing with a lot and I just need time. I was like, okay, fine. She came home at like one o'clock in the morning. I'm like, when did we start doing this? You know, this is crazy. When did we start coming home at one o'clock in the morning? So we kind of talked about it, went over. I asked her where she was. She said, I fell asleep in a car. I just really needed time to myself. So I, I went to the gas station and I'm thinking all this new information, whoever's giving her. Now she told me she was getting stuff out my phone. So at this point, I'm guarding my phone, like going through everything, trying to make sure, look, looking at everything. I don't see nothing that could incriminate me, but maybe, right? Somebody's telling her something. So I'm thinking that she's heard all this bad stuff about me and she just needs time to be alone. So surely she's not doing anything. She's leaving here. She's not going to a club or nothing. She's leaving here in basketball shorts and t shirt So I, my mind is never going that she's cheating on me. But then... The next night, she tried it again. And when she came home, I did something so crazy, guys. I looked in her pants. I opened them up, and it was, like, so much white stuff. Like, she had just, like, skeeted or something. I'm like, what is going on? I said, is that nut? She was like, no, I always have that in my panties. I'm like, that's nut. So I, I was like, you are cheating on me. And she was like, no, I'm not. Blah, blah, blah. I swear to God, blah, blah, blah. So... <laughs> Bam, we get a third night. Guys, this is out of control at this point. I'm sitting in the car, it's like 12 o'clock at night and I'm crying, like just crying. I'm like, uh, 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 because my grandbaby in there sleep, my son's at my house this night. I don't want nobody to know what I'm going through. So I am crying my heart out like, just like, God, what is going on? God, help me, reveal to me, tell me what's going on in my relationship. She's not answering the phone. I'm calling her back to back, back to back, back to back. Next thing you know, you could tell I was crying so hard because I didn't even realize she had opened my door and was standing in the door. So I was like, where were you? She said, I'm going to be honest with you. I said, okay. She said, I just can't handle all the stuff that I heard. And I just been parking my truck just spending time to myself now mind you this is what i'm thinking I, me and her have been having issues about her drinking right so i'm 100 thinking she is covering up because she's been drinking a lot 
And she wants to go to the store and get those bottles after I told her to stop drinking. And mind you, I found the, the pills in the bed. She's trying to get high and don't want me to know it. So she's pulling her car over at the gas station or whatever, sitting in there, listening to music, drinking, getting high because she can't do it at home. So I'm like, all right. So she walks in the house and she leaves her phone in the closet. Bam, I'm walking in the closet again. She goes in there, she puts her stuff in the closet, and she go get in the bed. A text message come through, bing. I'm like, my antennas go up because you said you were sitting in the car. Why is your text message going off this time of morning? So like she had went, took her shower, everything, and left her phone in the closet. So I grabbed the phone. And guys, you know how if you send somebody a message, but you delete the message, it was a voice memo. She never sent me a voice memo our whole life. I didn't know she know how to do that. So this is obviously something that she had learned. Like what? <laughs> so I noticed that somebody hearted the voice memo. So I'm like, wait a minute. I look at the phone number. It's Tricky Trina phone number. So I said, I asked my ex, I say, why is Tricky Trina messaging you this time of night and you literally just got home? She was like, I don't know. I don't know. So I looked, I said, I opened up the phone where her and I were sitting there together or whatever. And she was trying to prove to me that she didn't know what was going on. She was like, see, look, I didn't text nobody. She even went in her deleted message. She was like, see, look, I didn't text nobody. I said, but if you sent them something, because it said the heart hearted a voice memo, but the voice memo was gone. So obviously you sent a voice memo, you deleted everything and she hearted it when you walked in the house and you didn't think that she was going to heart it. So it didn't show me what you sent her. She must have sent her. I made it home or something and she probably hearted it. So I was like, why is she texting you? So now I'm like this. They talking in my mind. I'm thinking. I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay. I Listen, mama, you ain't drugged up no more at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like. I think that this is crazy. Like for her to like. Continuously. Question herself. I'm not understanding that. Like it. The, it's right there in your face. <laughs> I don't get it. I, I, I'm going to tell y'all what I was thinking afterwards. Okay. So fast forward. To the same night, I'm like, we didn't sleep that night. I'm just up all night questioning her. Why is Tricky Trina texting you? Why? Da, da, da. She was like, okay. All I know is earlier, she sent me a message and said, are you all right? And I texted her back and said, I'm doing, I'm good. And she hearted it. I deleted it because I didn't want you to see it. I'm like, that sounds crazy as shit. And at this point, I'm realizing that you're, you have been lying to me a lot. We went squabbling over the phone. We fell down squabbling over the phone because squabbling she texted her. Crazy. She grabbed my um, neck when I started questioning her about Tricky Trina texting her that night. When she grabbed my neck, mind you, we never had a fight in 18 years. In my mind, I'm thinking, oh, we fight now. Oh, we fight. Oh, guys. This is going to be against everything because I'm still going to court. But before you know it, I had stopped her. Her hands were around my neck. Why are you telling the story and y'all in court right now? You are incriminating yourself. However, she deserved to get punched, but I'm just saying. And I socked up two times. And by the time I finished socking, she had two black eyes. I'm like, Period. I didn't even know I hit that hard. But I guess when you're mad and you're angry, you don't even know your strength. You so know your strength doesn't have them black eyes. Black eyes. Yeah. I felt so bad for her that I was like, I'm going to take you to the doctor or whatever. You know, um, we feeling you know, bad I, again. I was like, now I can't believe we're fighting. You know, it's. All of this stuff. So, bam, the next day, 
I had to take my grandson to the airport and my son to the airport because they were flying to Florida to spend the weekend with my daughter. Um, so I was like, perfect, because everybody's going to be gone. I'm going to drive them to the airport and bam. On the way back from the airport, I'm about to listen to this recording because I need to know what's been going on. So guys, my, my grandson and my son missed a flight. So on the way back, I couldn't listen to no recording. So I was like, forget that. I'll just take my grandson to the parade with me because I was going to a parade that morning. I go to, uh, uh, you know, after the airport or whatever, I went on ahead, got my stuff together because I didn't want to go to this parade, but it's like a family thing with me and my friends. And I had all the food that I had to take. Normally when for homecoming, I mean, for Mardi Gras, you know, we have food, all this kind of stuff. We all show up. We, so I had all the food. And uh, again, I don't want nobody to know that I'm having issues in my relationship. So I need to show up as if, you know, nothing's happening. So I show up. I come home that evening. Her truck is gone. I'm like, where is she? When I asked her to go to the parade with me, she said she didn't want to go. And so she's been home all day and now she's gone. I put my grandson to bed and my son was in there with him and I went and sat in the car. I went and got, I, I went and sat in the car. I pulled up to racetrack. I ran in, I got me a bottle of Ciroc because y'all, I have been, you got to realize I have been going through so much. I sat in the car and- I would have been drunk. Drunk, a whole bottle of Ciroc. Mm. While I listened to five days of recording, starting with one day where they talked about how I walked in the room on them and almost caught them. Um, they talked about, they, you know, they talked about, of course I could tell my ex was really trying to get information out of her because my ex kept referring back to Oh, yeah, well, because she said she wasn't messing with this dude. She said she wasn't talking to him. I knew she was lying. And then the girl with Tricky Trina would say stuff like, oh, yeah, she was lying. She was. And I, that's why I don't understand why she was constantly questioning me about us when she's doing stuff. She blah, blah, blah. So she's constantly telling her all this stuff that I supposedly been doing. And that's why I, I, I couldn't tell you guys why I felt like nothing was going on before that date. That night. Tricky Trina told her on the recording, that's why I felt so confident to tell you that she was on the phone with a dude that night when we left the club. Mind you, my ex drove her car home. So we were in a car together. She said that I was on the phone with a dude the whole ride home. I didn't even know a dude to talk to at the time. Mind you, the Mike stuff happened two years prior. That was like two years. Tricky Trina had not been around me in so long that she didn't even know that I wouldn't even talk to this guy anymore. Like, I didn't even know how to get in touch with him. That was over. And, and when I say talking to him, like, I had then finally, my ex told me to, he didn't need to be following me. She felt uncomfortable with it. I deleted him, blah, blah, blah. Nothing, nothing went anywhere that, that was in the past. I heard them say, I heard my ex tell her, um, she's been crazy and not the crazy that I like. My ex told her that she walked in on me in a tub crying, naked. I felt so violated that somebody I love and trust so much was on the phone sharing my personal information with an enemy. A enemy that came into my home to kill, steal, and destroy. I don't care. If somebody would have came and told me something about my ex, I would have listened because I want to know. But there's no way in the world that a bond this tight that I would turn around and become an enemy of my ex and betray my ex for an outsider with a hidden agenda. It is a way in the world if you out here cheating, talking to men. You can't do that with no stud, bro. It's just, you know. That devil came in my house to kill, steal, and destroy, and she attacked the weakest link. Is no way in the world my ex could have cheated on me. I was willing to take her back even after she cheated because I knew our foundation. She, they talked about 
it was so much they talked about, guys. Like their first encounter, they talked about um, the night that they spent together. The, the, the first night that my ex came home at one o'clock in the morning, they talked about how good the sex was. Ooh, what happened? Talked about um, the night that they spent together. The, the, the first night that my ex came home at one o'clock in the morning, they talked about how good the sex was. Mm. Tricky Trina even told my ex on one of the conversations that, <laughs> oh, she said that y'all sex life wasn't that y'all that I told her that me and my ex wasn't having a lot of sex and that her sex wasn't that good. And Tricky Trina said something on the lines of she um she just don't know. Oh, well, maybe it's not good to her, but uh it was good to me. I was like, so now at this point, guys, I'm so full of emotions like emotions girl the rage that would a bitch <laughs> it's one thing to see hello niggas lying some people do go through shit like that and like they want to they want they need concrete evidence i wouldn't have needed no concrete but it would have drove me up a wall, though, to, like, think. You just never know. You just never know. But to hear that. <laughs> oh, my God. I am angry for her. Oh, shit. I'm calling everybody. Had I known better, had I known better, I could have handled stuff completely different. Had I known <sighs> Had I controlled my emotions, it's so important that we control our emotions, guys. <laughs> Had I controlled my emotions, things would have been done completely different. I was so I had just had a whole bottle of Ciroc. I had not eaten. My mind was already all over the place. This literally just validated everything. So I sat there at that gas station. I called my ex back to back, back to back, because at this point, I 100%, guys, this is what I was thinking. At this point, now, I'm ready to talk. talk. It's nothing you can tell me. It's nothing you can tell me to make me believe that nothing happened between y'all. I heard it with my own ears. I know what's going on. Now, I, now we need to talk about how we about to break up. How we about to move around. Oh, back, rewind, 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 rewind. That night... I looked my ex in the face after that phone, after that text message came through. I looked her right in her eyes, the person who I trust more than anything in the world, and I said, are you, are you messing with my friend? She looked me right back in my eyes, a person who I trust and said, I swear to God, Cindy, you never have that to worry about. I would never do that to you. I said, okay. I know Tricky Trina trying to get at my girl, but at this point I was, I was gonna, I, I knew she trying to get at my girl, but when I see her, I, I got something for her, right? So I was like, I, I deal with her when I see her. I'm not about to call her, I'm not about to confront her because why am I confronting somebody who know what time it is, who know what they did, right? It's no need to confront her. So bam. Hold on y'all for the last time. I sat at racetrack for like five hours, guys, drinking and listening to the, all those messages. Bam, I calling my ex back to back, back to back, can't control my emotions, I'm going crazy. My ex not answering, her location off. I call her friend, her best friend, her best friend said, I talked to her, I know where she at, she all messed up, Cindy, she messed up, a lot going on, blah, blah, blah. I say, she know I know, huh? She say, she know you know. She just was kind of confirming that my ex messed up, blah, blah, blah. I hear I go, well, when, I, I, when you talk to her, tell her I'm trying to get in touch with her. It's important. Like, my, I'm, I'm telling her, I know stuff. I know this. I know that. Blah, blah, blah. All this kind of stuff. So, bam. I called Tricky Trina because at this point my emotions are so high. I just got, I just got to get it out, right? 
I'm, I'm wasted. My emotion's not telling me control yourself, because if you control yourself, you can come out this with a win. I'm so, I've been lied to, I've been betrayed, like my emotions are high. I'm calling Trick or Trina, she not answering the phone. I'm blowing her up, blowing her up, she not answering the phone. I say, you know what, forget that. I'm about to drive to her house. She gonna talk to me today. I'm about to ask her, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going at her, right? Yeah, we, me and her about to whatever, whatever. Her house is like 45 minutes away. Bam. Um, this is so against the law. I probably shouldn't even tell this. But I was semi drunk. Okay, no, no, I'll take that back. I ain't incriminating myself. I was in the tipsy, okay? So I I'm driving to her house, but mind you, she lived 45 minutes away. It's kind of in the boondocks. Now I've been to her house, of course, before, right? So, and I don't, I, at this point, I, I got her physical address, but I'm just going off the top of my mind because I'm like, I had to end up pulling over, putting her physical address in because it's like some kind of back roads I normally always have on GPS or she's in a car with me and directing me or whatever. So I'm like, mm, getting it. it's a house she had bought like a year ago. So it was fairly new, but of course I had been there before. Of course I had her address. Of course I knew where she stayed. And I'm gonna tell you guys why I'm stressing this so much. She tried to lie and say, I didn't know where she stayed at, but that was a plot. She told my ex just to get my ex to her house. Bam, I pull up on her street. Woo! Guess what I saw? My ex truck on side of her car in her parking lot, like, like they go together. I pull up, I look. Mind you, I never thought in a million years, come on now, if you're going to cheat on me, you're going to go to my ex friend, you're going to go to my ex friend's house, knowing I know where she live. You're going to go to my ex friend's house, knowing I could pull up at any time. And then you in there sleep. I could tell it was full of drugs because I got, I jumped out the car. I bust all the windows out the truck, which was so stupid on my part. Cause the truck in my name is my truck. So I bust, stupid. bust my own windows. <laughs> But guys, they never woke up, never woke up. I'm heated at this point. Like I'm out my mind. I'm like, I'm just uh, imagine like if y'all can just imagine seeing this going through this. Now, mind you, I just finished sitting here listening to like all of these recordings, like five hours worth of recordings. And when I say five hours, I mean over days. It was probably like three hours. This is over days of the recording only picking up their voice while I was gone. It was so much information that I got from those phone calls. Like I just, I don't even think I'm mad anymore. I think I'm just trying to plot my way out of this. I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here because I really, really gotta go, but it's so much more to it. Okay guys, so. I know I had to rush out because I had to bring my grandbaby to his appointment. Look at him, he's asleep. Hold on, let me show you guys. Aww, he's asleep. But anyway. Got that little camera. I am going to finish this video. It's coming soon. Oh, the it's a DJI camera, got it. Last part was, let's see. Cause I just left y'all hanging, right? Um, so the last part was that I put up to her house, bust the windows out the car, and I proceeded to knock on the door and whew, her son opened the door for me. Her son opened the door for me and I walked in. I walked into Tricky Trina's room and bam, they were in the bed butt naked. Oh. My ex, Tricky Trina, was in the bed butt naked. Crazy thing is, 
The ex was so high, mind you, I bammed on the door, right? Bammed on the door, bammed on the door. Bust windows. And let me tell you something. When you busting windows out of a truck with tenant in the windows, I had a bat that was in my trunk. The It wasn't just busting. It was like, boom, boom. It sounded like gunshots. And I had to hit it over and over and over just to bust. So it's not like this was light. These heifers were still asleep. They was high as a guy. So I'm guessing what got what happened is they decided to get together and have a a pill party. They were high as the cooler brown. Bam. It y'all, if y'all think this is a lot, the story gets worse. Like it gets worse. It, it's so much, y'all. So y'all know I have to end this right here. So y'all, what has happened thus far is. I caught them. I, I I caught her texting one night. We scrambled over the phone. Um, mind you, like this is it's just a lot. I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot to take in. So, excuse me. We we scrambled over the phone at night. I end up going to the parade the next day. She stayed at home because at this point she got a black eye, and. I knew that she would, I just knew she wasn't going nowhere with black eye. But when I came home and she was gone, I ended up getting, going, get me a drink, listening to all of the messages I said I wasn't going to listen to, hearing everything that I needed to hear, everything that, everything that I was so confused about. They was just talking about it on the phone, so free and so clear. It was like, what? They just was going over it, like just talking about stuff. Um, I did hear my ex say a lot of bad things about me that I didn't even know she had in me, in her. She talked about my family. She talked about, um, things that were personal to me and my family. Uh, it's like she immediately switched. She went from my person to Tricky Trina person. Damn. Immediately. Like, girl, you didn't even put up a fight for your family. It's like... I think she, I don't know. I'm starting to think she was hypnotized or something or like something evil was. No, that's just who she was from the jump. <laughs> went on because she was not the same person. And even though, like, I really feel like whatever happened that night was bad. But I think my ex, she wanted, like, she, because she was so confused about what happened that night that she was just so adamant about making it work and apologizing and, and all that stuff. But then, Tricky Trina came in and was like, oh, I don't know why you feel bad because she did this, 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 and that. Mm -hmm. My ex immediately, immediately switched sides. Like, girl. I told y'all that's what she used as ammo. Knowing that you doing something with a man and we together, uh, especially if you getting some meat. Now, getting some some meat ain't worse than mm, having spaghetti. Ugh. I cannot believe she was just down there. Oh, it's just all fucked up, but. Mm -mm. I'm just, the story's getting worse and worse. I can't. You, she didn't, she had no fight for her family in her, none. It's like she was so weak that she just immediately, immediately switched sides. So. So for of honey size cheat with a woman, is it more acceptable than her cheating with a man? No. No. They, No. They both weigh the same because obviously it's cheating, but how it will fuck with me mentally would be different because when, obviously when you have sex with a man, he using his, you using yours. It's clearly a distinct difference and connection with that right and a feeling in general now honey sauce has the way she speaks about it it's like 
it just depends though with if you really like a person or if it, you know, it depends on how you feel about that guy or whatever. And for me, I feel like you just going to be, I don't know, like you, you just giving away my cooch. Like, but also you're enjoying it, I feel like. Um, not that you don't enjoy what you do with me. I'm just saying it's a distinct difference, you know? Um, and I know what you do on the meet. You do it to me. So I can only imagine how that will make him feel. I just think uh, maybe I do think about it too deep, but how it will mess with me because it's a man. I don't know. I, I, I can't explain. <laughs> I can't explain. I don't know. Like men get really bothered when men find out a woman gave another man head. That's how I feel. If my woman were to have sex with another man, that's the best way I could put it. Like men Really get upset, like, did you suck his dick? I sucked it. Oh, God. You know what I'm saying? Whatever that feeling that that does to them, it does to me. <laughs> if if my woman out here doing it with a man. That's the, the best way I could put it. Because don't get me wrong. You could be doing it with a woman and, like, it's out of this world. So I might be worried about the wrong shit, to be honest. Because she can end up doing it with a woman and they both just, you know, that's some different shit right there. A man having sex with a woman, he penetrating her, taking control of her, things like that. I ain't fucking with that. Okay? But her doing it with a woman, the emotions are there and... You know what I'm saying? It's just, I, I don't know. Somebody gotta die. So, <laughs> that's why I'm just like, give me the option. Give me the option. All I want is the option. And then we'll go from there. I don't like surprises though. Ma'am, I walked in, caught them naked in the bed, but naked, but naked. Trigger Trina tried to run up to the door. She jumped up. Yeah, I go when I got regardless. in there, she one, one, jumped one, one, up and she was like, it's not what you look like. The fuck? What, what else could this be if it's not what it looked like? This I would have been snapped because they keep playing with my uh, intelligence. I would have snapped. No ball out of proportion, blah, blah, blah. Bam. Welcome, good boy. All right, guys, y'all stay tuned for this uh, next Wrong video because it gets so juicy. All right, thank y'all so much for tuning into this super long video. I'm going to try to chop it up as much as I can to take like some of the ums out and the oh, some of the crying out because I know I like teared up a few times, had to stop. Um, go get, I had to stop, go get some tissue. I had to, um, maybe probably about five times throughout the video. I had to keep stopping because I could not stop getting emotional. I really thought the emotional part was over with. That's why I'm so comfortable doing this video now. But now I see that the emotional part is not over with. I still maybe three, three, three in the chat. feel something. When I think about what happened, Ooh, good path. but I can tell you, I'm a good place. Like I don't want her back or nothing. I'm healing. I feel good. I feel amazing. I am so, I feel so free. You have a new girlfriend, but it is still touchy and it's so touchy because things gets, things get way worse. They get way worse. I mean, this devil does not stop. She start attacking my family. Like I did her something. And guess what? That little weak wex, that little weak ex of mine, right on side of her. They start playing some dirty, 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 dirty games. So y'all stay tuned. Y'all do me a favor and have an amazing day. Oh, wait, wait. So wait, before y'all have an amazing day, make sure y'all give drop, drop me some comments. I need all y'all comments. I need to y'all to at the end of this whole series, I'm going to do like some. I saw one of my Supporters in the comments said I need to make bullet points so I can stop like going all over the place. I'm going to make some flashcards, do some bullet points and just answer all the questions that you guys have that's been in the comments because I know I missed a bunch of stuff and I'm sure it's a whole bunch of comments or questions that people have that may fill in the blanks of what I missed. So drop your um questions. 
I will be answering questions when the third. <laughs> the way she said qu questions is killing me right third now. Series is completely over. So I did one. This is my second. I got one more. And I got a little bonus to it, guys, because when I tell you it gets worse, it gets worse. All right, y'all. Stay tuned. Do me a favor and have an amazing day. Mwah! Yeah, go ahead and send me to jail. Go ahead and send me to jail. Oh, my God. Oh. So, yeah, that's the way I can answer the question about um, her doing something with a guy. But like I said, I probably am worried about the wrong thing. I'm not worried about it at all. But if I, you know, in this situation, I will probably be paying attention to the wrong thing because... If she mess around and, you know, do it with a woman, you know, we just hit differently. It just is what it is. And also, I mean, right before um, me and Honey Sauce got together, we, as in, in a relationship, we both needed to make sure, like, this is what I want, right? So... Um, and I mean, this is what I want as in, cause I just got a relationship, just a whole lot. She, excuse me. She just got a relationship too. It was a lot of closure. Um, not closure. It was a lot of stuff that we needed to make sure we were straight on. And, um, she had, you know, and of course with a guy I had, and of course with a woman and for her, it was like, she didn't enjoy it. <laughs> She didn't enjoy it. So so I'm saying that to say just because you having sex with a man don't always mean you'll enjoy it. Just because you having sex with a woman don't always mean you'll enjoy it. Um, it just depends on the time. It depends on the situation. And this, this scenario right here will mess me up way more than her just having random sex with a random guy. Like somebody I've been around um, as in a friend – uh, not somebody you spoke to in passing or somebody you met one time. I'm talking about a friend. Okay. That would, this right here, I probably would be in prison because the premeditated part is what would mess with me the most because I had to make sure. And I'm not missing shit. I'm not missing nothing either. Honey. So I, I, I would, I would have, been messed up about the premeditated part of all of this. Um, because that, that the feminine woman, you could tell she wants or wanted her girlfriend or their relationship or whatever, which people do envy your relationship. Um, even if they're in a relationship, unfortunately, but you definitely can't have too many single friends around y'all's dynamic. So, you know, me and Honey Self have been in conversation with couples and like, bro. <laughs> Sometimes that other couple wants to have what you have or feel as though you have something better or whatever. They want to experience it. And it sounds to me more so like they want to experience your person more than they want to experience y'all dynamic. So you also have to be very careful with relationships and being friends with other people that are in relationships as well. It can taint your relationship. If, if y'all having a weak moment, um, that vulnerability can cause y'all to go to another place, but to have intercourse in my house, in my grandson room, the nerve to leave a puddle. Hello. Uh, and then the wrong puddle, the wrong puddle. Oh my God. And then consistently play with my intelligence. Obviously they knew she wasn't, she's the type of person that needed concrete evidence because obviously, no, she the type of person that needed I don't know what kind of evidence she needed past concrete. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like the panties was behind the bed. Um, you walked in there, she ain't had no shirt on. She's sitting, she under the covers. Like 
Y'all are caught. Somebody gotta die. You gotta die. So, with that being said, it's like, I was all right. I was out of my element. Uh, you probably done drug me, whatever. So, boom, the next day, you could still be a little, like, you know, tainted or whatever. But damn, friend, a week after that, the week after that, the week after that, like, what the fuck going on? <laughs> I don't understand, like, what made you not see what you seen? You know what I'm saying? So, for me, it's just like, what are we talking about? So, I have so many issues with this situation. But I would have rather... If if this was, you know, me, I would have rather my partner did it with a man than to do what she did. This is so personal. And, like, she plotted on you and your stupid ass fell for it. Like, I don't know if y'all ever been around friends or around people that, they friends with other people, but you was friends with them. And they kind of give you a look or uh, feel like you're flirting, whatever the fuck. Um, it happens with me on this house all the time. She'd be like, girl, she was staring your face off. I almost had to tell her to give it back. You know what I'm saying? Because it happens, right? And honey saw so damn, she looking at everybody who looking at me. Whatever way I'm looking, she looking. And of course, I'm the same way. But, you know... Feminine women will be feminine women. Uh, what, what's going on? Okay. Um, and, you know, you mess around and, I don't know, y'all at the same little house party, she fuck around and touch your hair or, you know, for women, they are grab a nigga meat. A whole lot grab a nigga meat, right? <laughs> and then he like, yo, what? Like, what are you doing? So you mess around and get a loyal guy, he gonna tell he going to tell your his girlfriend. But he'll mess around to tell the girlfriend. The friend basically done pulled one on her. Like, if the boyfriend were to, if her girlfriend were to tell her, do you know that Cindy wouldn't have believed the girlfriend? She wouldn't have believed her, y'all. <laughs> she gives me very much. No, baby, you were tripping. Cause I I feel like it's been relationships where a nigga tell her and she be like, nigga, please, you lying. Nigga, we all was drunk. That's not what happened. Because you don't want to give up your relationship, but you also don't want to give up your friendship. Nah, that's not what happened. No. You know. And then here she is still taunting you with lust. You know what I'm saying? And now at this point, you don't believe me either. Now I gotta fall for it. So it's just. This is nasty, nasty work. So I will say I would rather my partner get some meat than to deal with something like this. This is crazy. So you know what? Maybe a man wouldn't affect me more than this, than a woman. Because this some shit right here. <laughs> like, And then the nerve of y'all to be on the phone talking about how good it was. Oh! Oh, uh, cause I ain't had no time to talk. Cause she been talking the whole time. Cause obviously that's what she supposed to do. Y'all. When your partner is a head hunter. Head honcho. Head of the league. Head of uh, things. Just head up on everything. Right? Oh, shit. And you out there doing it to my friend? Ow! Oh, no. I can't. I can't. I just... Ah! Ah! <sighs> my friend? Oh, shit. Y'all, it was just, oh, 
Oh, shit. That will really, really take me to another place. Like it's taking me right now. And I just, mm, the premeditated part is just what gets me. Because I feel like the friend was really plotting on Shorty. Like, she was with the girlfriend longer, which was 18 years. So, I feel like the first few years in, she was already like, mm, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I ain't going to. I ain't going to go there because that's my friend girl. But, you know, secretly hugging and, 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 you know what I'm saying, um, getting something from it. You know what I'm saying? Smelling good, looking good when she go over there. You know, shit like that. So it's like, I feel like she been taunting her anyway. And when you at a weak spot and y'all ain't having sex right now and things like that, she might have been looking like she, you know what I mean? She, <laughs> you know. I fuck the hell out of her. Or, you know, things like that. But it's like, oh, man, that would have took me to a different place. So I'm going to just go ahead and get off this because I'm going to keep talking about it. Ah! But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Um, How would you feel about the whole situation? Um, That's it. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.